okay, so I'm out and about and I'm just doing a leisurely walk. I'm in Lepton again and uh, I'm going to head north up to uh, Hopton, maybe Murfield and uh, it's just a leisurely walk for a few hours. I'm going to pass, uh, I think they call it Black Dick's Tower. Uh, it's a garden folly, but it was once part of a big country house estate and it looks a bit like a temple. Uh, I passed it many years ago, not quite knowing what it was. But since then, I've learned a bit more about the area and there was a big, I think it's called Whiteley Court Estate. It's I've mentioned it on one of my previous videos. In fact, I've got the map here. Yeah, I call it Whiteley. Whitley, not Whiteley. Whitley. So, yeah, it's nice to see uh, autumn colours. Has a nice uh, beauty of its own, even though it's a bit damp and a bit cold. And then we can always look forward to spring and summer again. Right, so I'll update you in a bit. Okay, so couldn't help noticing this uh, holly bush displaying its berries. Look at that. Uh, I normally see holly bushes a lot, but uh, I don't see the berries, so this is the season of autumn, I guess. Okay, so I'm just passing around the back of uh, Whitley Hall Farm. Uh, this must have been part of the Grand Estate at one time. Uh, right. Okay, so from up here, just behind Whitley Hall Farm, I can just see Castle Hill there in the distance. And then, if I run over to the left, I just make out a church tower there. Okay, so just myself and a few sheep in this field. Uh, glad there's no cows. <laughs> okay, so I'm just approaching. Well, what I think of some reason, I don't know if it's just a nickname, thought it was called Black Dick's Tower. On the map it says the Temple. So, we'll call it the Temple.
okay see it's attracted some rubbish it's <laughs> strange isn't it get a nice historical remote building that's well it's kind of abandoned <laughs> and then uh, A certain section of the community thinks it's okay to just throw a load of, load of crap all over the place. Okay, so I'm just on the bridal way at the side of uh, this is Lyley Hall. Nice little courtyard bit there. Uh, and I think it's Lyley Wood on the right hand side. Okay, but I'm headed for Hopton now. So this track should get me to Hopton or Lower Hopton. So, as always, I'll film anything that might be of particular interest on the way, so catch you in a moment. Okay, not sure what that's all about. Unless it's trying to indicate the tree is about to fall down or could do so at any time. Strange. But I'll do what it says, I'll keep moving. This one will say the same. Uh, tree hazard, keep moving. Okay, so according to my map, I'm passing uh, Briar Knoll Farm. I think it's just in front on the right somewhere. Lovely woodland here. Okay, so that must be Briar Knoll Farm and its uh, related buildings. Nice cluster of buildings there. <sighs> OK, 
Okay, so I just noticed this, uh, like, uh, walled garden here, and then uh, a pretty substantial property at the back. I'll have to just look it up later on to see if there's a history behind it. Okay, so I just looked on my map and uh, it doesn't mention anything about it, so it's a bit of research. Although to my left here, I've just passed New Hall, so I don't know if that was or is a part of it. Okay, so it's like a, a former millstone that's been built into the wall here and no doubt that big slab of rock or stone had some significance another one there here we go These footing stones with the holes came from Thomas Burnley's woolen mill, Gummersall, built in the X eighth eighteenth century. Goodness, took some time. Demolished 2004, so that explains that. Okay, there's another information. This is the site of Newhall Colliery, the remains of which are still visible. Okay, so I'm just reading this uh, this plaque here, trying to understand what was mined here. Sounds like uh, coal mining, obviously, uh, and uh, also iron ore, so extracting iron from stone, or iron stuck in stone. But, uh, because here the land contains almost inexhaustible stores of coal and iron stone which from 30 pits now open are brought down by an easy descent to the furnace and to the navigable river Calder. At the furnace, 34 tonnes per week of pig iron are now made. This is dated February 1814. So, I haven't a clue uh, about this area really. But uh, apart from just discovering there that uh, iron ore and coal mining was a big industry 200 years ago. Some more information here. The date stone here, 1839. Okay, this date stone is all that remains of St. Peg Mill, Cleckheaton, which was attacked by a Chartist mob. Crikey, numbering five to six thousand strong in the plug drawing riots, 1842. Check this out. Hello there. 
The first attack of the mob in Cleckheaton on 18th of August 1842 was on the mill of Mr. Sutcliffe Broadbent, where they were suffered to withdraw the plugs from the boilers without any serious resistance being offered. They then proceeded to William Atkinson's St. Peg Mill when an alarm was raised that the soldiers were coming. I'll take a couple of photos off this and then try and uh, see what's going on, but it sounds like industrial relations weren't that good <laughs> back in 1842. Okay, some more former millstone wheels uh, built into the wall. This is the, the French Burr millstones from a water powered flour mill built into this wall are considered the finest of all grit, grist millstones. They are from an exceptionally hard wearing kind of quartz found only in one area near the town of Chalons in northern France. Amazing. So this, oh yeah, feels like a type of marble or something. These have come all the way from France. Okay, so there's a lot of history built into these walls uh, and it must be like a remembrance for all the mills in the sort of local area here and uh, other old industries. Quite oh, noisy around here. There's a the culprit. So I was just thinking, it must have been hard back then in those mills and iron and coal industry 200 years ago I don't, they didn't, didn't have electricity not discovered clean water yet no social security system you know benefits and all that no education for kids wow must have been hard times to us or you know for myself look back and it seems a romantic period looking back in history but for those who lived it oof, must have been tough okay so I think I'm in Lower Hopton I'm just going to pass a former United Reform Church uh, it's, it's been converted into residential now but uh, it's former glory, architectural wise will, will still be there because it's probably a great tool is to build in. Okay, another reminder of history. Let's look at this chimney. Complete with soot <laughs> from 150, 200 years ago.
Okay, so this is the former URC church. It's, uh, it's in the process of being converted to residential. It's a spectacular building. I mean, it's got a lovely front garden as well. The uh, actual graveyard bit's not quite full. It, uh, must have been important building in its day and obviously of great importance to the people who worshipped here but it's good that it's been uh, it's been used for other reasons now and the you know the architectural sort of footprint is still there and these Victorian railings as well Okay, so I've been making my way back and I passed the uh, Jewsbury District Golf Club. So I went through the side of it. I'm now at Whitley Lower and uh, I'm close to Whitley Lower Church. So I think on the last walk on the video, I was a fair distance from it. I think today it's worth having a look at it because it's, it's a lovely building. So hopefully, I'll just check on the map, but this should lead me to Whitley Lower Church. Okay, so looks like it's dedicated to St. Mary and St. Michael. I presume the Michael bit is Michael the Archangel. sure how old this is. always got them funny faces <laughs> stuck in these old buildings
Okay, so I've just had a quick rest and something to eat uh, in the actual church grounds itself, which was nice. And uh, just got to make some moves on there and get myself back. Now, yeah, that's a really lower church. It's nice. I'll find out how old it is. And post the details on the screen. I've walked past here a few times before. Now I seem to recall there should be a stream running down there and it's totally dry and barren and I'm just thinking we've had probably one of the driest years for a long time this year because it hasn't rained so I was expecting some water running there to the left now I'll dig back in my archive of video clips and see if I can find one of when it was flowing so I know I videoed myself walking down here the other way a few years ago and we'll see what it looks like but yeah yeah I'm, I'm pretty certain it should be flowing water okay okay so this bit of footpath I'm on now in the past I've always come the other way and I've always kind of missed the latter half of the footpath and I always came out at these gates well today I'm going to see if I can find the correct path and actually this looks like it and it should head this way oh. although it does look <laughs> like I'm in somebody's garden <laughs> but it should go up here somewhere Okay, so for me, this is a bit of a breakthrough. This is the foot for the, the footpath that's always uh, <coughs> I've always missed in times past. Uh, you could say it's eluded me. So today, when I looked on the map, I thought, "Oh, I've got the chance now to go the other way." So by going this way, I'll see where I should have uh, headed off in the past and diverted I mean the paths are on the map but sometimes when you're walking you're that enthusiastic about just looking ahead that you kind of miss what the map's telling you to do so this should link on to the open field a bit further up here Okay, so that's where I came out of, and uh, since I was last here, the fields have been wound down the back of the map. So I broke the field somewhere in the middle. check possibly on compass but I'm generally going in the right direction okay well I'm just making my way back and uh, this is to my right I mean I've passed here before and spoken about it it's Whitley Park it, it's the grounds of a former country mansion and it's where the the temple is on the other side of it that uh, you'll have seen at the beginning of this video now the country manor has gone but there's some 
remains there and I don't know what they are but if you look at the actual park itself it's well fit park it's not open to the public as such it's just magnificent that will be somebody's garden house and uh, a lot of the architecture on the grounds was done by that landscape ability brown famous landscaper uh, famous in that he did all the wealthy aristocratic gardens well not all of them but a lot of them and he was very popular and he got the nickname capability brown because he was quite capable it seems that whatever project he took on he got it done nice seeing it in autumn colours now Okay, so that pile of stones that I zoomed in on earlier, according to my map, it's, it's down as the monument, so I don't know what it was. I'll try and find something, uh, if there's a picture of it when it was and in its glory. But it's, for me, it's just like a pile of stones. Could uh, just give it another zoom in from here, if I use this post to steady the camera. there just behind that circle of trees and there it is known as the monument okay so I'm now just making my way back to where I've parked in Lepton so I'm heading for well it says Lepton Square up map but I always think it looks more like a triangle where the a triangulation of footpaths that meet up and sort of join <laughs> so, so why it's called square it always puzzles me that but it says Lepton Square right so I've ended up trip up and get myself covered in mud <laughs> this is probably going to be the last update now and uh, so if you've been watching uh, if it's made it to YouTube because it's only a short afternoon walk but Half a bramble stuck to my leg. Well, I'll say it's, it's only a short afternoon walk, and I've taken a few video clips along the way, so it was just to get me out and about. But if it, if it looks decent on playback, I'll put it on, and there might be a few interesting things. Well, I found it interesting, but I've been I've been doing it. So so great. So thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed some bits and bobs. And all being well, I'll see you on the next one. So, catch you later. Oh, I've just got to clean up all this mess and I'll get stay to me. Jacket.